Alright then, so, uh, I just finished editing episode 4, it's... Okay, I just had to check my statistics reset. Thankfully, they did not. We're still on day 301 after the last stream. We're here. It's time to record episode 5 of the Flat World. You know what? Uh, I swear we'll focus on the, uh... No, we'll focus on the base sometime in the future again, but, uh... For now, we, uh, we're gonna be building in the Never. So yeah, let's go do that. So as I said at the end of the last video, for episode 5, is essentially... At the end of episode 4, I revealed that in this episode, we were gonna be building a new Strider Hub. Why Strider Hub? Because I need to actually be able to get around a Never. And well, the best way to get over all that lava is striders. Look, there's already some down there. So yeah, this is uh, this was actually where I got my lava uh, for in the earlier days of the uh, of the flower world. But considering its location, I'm thinking this is actually going to be a pretty good spot to build a uh, a strider hub. And it's not just going to be for striders. There's even though it's going to be called a strider hub, there's going to be a lot of other things too. But first of all, we need to. Oh, hello there, sir. Uh, where is the? Oh, I think, yeah, I think that's him. We're gonna buy ourselves a new shield. Yeah, day counter is always going to be in the uh, uh, top of the corner of the screen, so you can always look to that. Anyway, in the Never Hub here, we're gonna actually be expanding it. And I want there to be an easy access down to the uh, Strider Hub. And I think generally the best spot is gonna be to just go over here. Anyway, yeah, what we're going to do here is begin digging, uh, digging this area out. I'm not sure how big I want this to be, to be but I imagine, like, yeah, I imagine that would be good. So we have roofs there, it goes down, down. All right, here we go. We got a staircase going. Sick. I want to flatten this area out, though. I don't. I'm not going into this with a Lightmatica schematic, by the way, because I don't want to use Lightmatica. I think it's basically just the equivalent of just. No, the way I look at it, I basically think of it as just like, oh, you want to use Lightmatica on your world? You may as well just be a Minecraft creative YouTuber then. That's kind of always how I've thought of it. Because then when you're building it in, like, survival, just to me, personally, it's just not that impressive. You know? I don't know, I just never found it very impressive. But yeah, this is also where my Neverite Mine is, actually. Anyway, speaking of my Neverite Mine, we need to actually head down there. And the reason why we're heading down there is not because I need more ancient debris, but rather because I need Blackstone. Now, in Episode 2, when I actually built the Never Hub, what I decided to do was just... Just steal all the blocks from a bastion. And honestly, I kind of don't want to have to go back to that bastion. And you know what? This is just so much more convenient. So yeah, we're just going to be chilling around here. So yeah, we're going to need to go back over to the uh, hub now. You know what? I used to have to like... Somehow just crawl down there, very roughly. Oh yeah, I just remembered that, uh, that's all still kind of there. Anyway, we're gonna need to, uh, actually go and grab some of the furnaces from up here. And also, when we're up here, we're gonna need to actually chop a lot of trees. And we're gonna go over to that crimson forest nearby, as I need some fuel. And the best option I really have here in the Never is wood. So yeah, we're gonna go get some. Wait, hold on. N no, we're in the Never. We're literally working right next to a lava pit. Why don't I just <laughs> the overworld? Ow. Okay, so the reason why I have all this stuff here is because 
I want to use crack stuff, but in order to get that, we need to actually, like, to smelt all that. Thankfully, that won't be too hard. Let's, uh, let's start upgrading this. So far in this project, we've uh, got all this sorted out, so now there's our proper entrance from the Never Hub down all the way down to here properly. Because beforehand, do you know what we were doing? Apparently used fat at some point. But a lot of the time, I just drop down from here. Should probably clean this up at some point. Hmm, I wonder why we're back in the overworld. I changed my skin. Before you just saw Volton in his uh, casual outfit. Now, I'm in my presidential uniform. I am President Volton of Industria. Hey, Editor Volton here. Speaking of Industria, I also actually held a flag referendum on my community tab, asking which variation of the Industrian flag is the best. The original one, the one with a tricolor with a star, the American style, or just a normal tricolor. And a tricolor with a star won unanimously. So, everyone, this is going to be the new flag of Industria. I have to change it on the flagpole in my world at some point. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking here. So, as you can see, we've now got this entrance done that's a floating crafting table. And what I have in mind here is... What if we put every single tree type there is on display? I think that could be really cool. I don't know about you, but I really think that that could be actually a really cool idea. Currently, I technically only have access to four wood types. Technically five. But I'm thinking... We reserve a small space, or some small spaces in the uh, Strider area here, for trees, for every single tree type in the game, to put them all on display. I think that's a really cool idea. Do you want to know why I'm thinking of it? It's because literally all you schmucks do is just make mob farms. And by you schmucks, I'm talking about most Minecraft YouTubers. Listen, y'all, you may think mob museums are cool. And that's cool, I respect your opinion. But I disagree, I think they suck. So yeah, nah. Mm -mm, no. We're not doing my museum, we're doing a tree museum. Because we love nature in this household. I'm gonna try and get an idea for it by actually first carving out a small space for an oak tree over here. Put just, put some dirt in there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna remove uh, all of this here. You know what? This dirt's all gonna. I mean, this grass, sorry. It's all going to get uh, removed at some point anyway. So I may as well just remove it, some of it now. If we're anywhere, I'm using a pickaxe. I just don't have a silk touch shovel yet. Probably won't have one for a while yet. No, I can just. I can just add it to my shovel now. Like, yeah, I can. I totally can. Like, I literally have a shit ton of them, too. Oh yeah, that's right, I died at some point. Alright, well. I think I've had them since, like, episode 1 or 2. Which is just when it's like... Is 
it need to be dollar? Where's the guy that sells me glass? So the tree museum is already getting uh, some progress. We've got the first tree in. It's a jungle one. I think next to it, we're probably just going to do our normal ass oak tree. Hi, Future Voltum here. So at this point in recording, I'm not sure why, but I decided to start clearing out a portion of the lava here. I don't know why I decided to do this, but I'm very glad I did. But this was a very painful and tedious process. You'll probably see why later on. So what I'm doing here is just clearing out a lot of lava, but the best way I really have to do that is just placing a lot of blocks and destroying those blocks. Now because how deep this is, I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably never getting any of these blocks back. Oh well. All that never has like weird terrain. I might have to clear this out at, all, uh, at some point. So why I'm placing all the blocks. I guess this is kind of the best way I really have to clear a lot of that at the moment. Okay, we've got that layer down a little bit further. I mean, that's pretty good, right? There we go. Alright, here we go. The oak tree enclosure... Enclosure, it sounds kind of weird. So it's like I'm talking about a zoo animal. Is uh, now complete. Looks pretty cool. Okay, what I'm thinking is... We actually destroy some of the stairs. What I'm gonna do is... Um... Alright, we're the pigs. Oh my god, that is a fuck time. So that way, we have a place to preserve each of these trees if the world decides one day that it wants to end. You know, I'm, I'm thoughtful. Don't need to get an extra jungle, and I need to get more jungle and probably ghouls though for that. Alright, there we go, that means the jungle is now officially complete. Maybe I should have something this wide for, like, a cherry tree, because I know those are wider than your... Also, we're going to be needing this magma later, as I do think at some point, even if I don't really want to, I think we're going to have to build a gold farm. Which actually, the fact that we're finding a lot of magma here is actually really good. Simple. And more mud. You know, an automatic mud converter might be in order here. We yeah, also got this back area as well. Oh, that's that's gonna need some trimming. I need some shaving. So yeah, we definitely didn't have enough glass before, but yeah, I definitely need to trade for some more later. But we're getting there. Yeah, we're gonna definitely, we're definitely gonna have to do some terraforming around here. Okay, so far this will all look really bad from the outside. So now, enclosure for the mangrove uh, tree is actually in place. Yeah, it's all done. But I want to get that glass in. Alright, time to finally put it into windows. I love silk touch. Anyway, that's kind of all the uh, world trees I can really do currently. I do like how this looks so far. This looks awesome. 
I am going to have to drain more of his lava, though. If I had sand, this would not be taking that long. Okay, we got the lava down another layer. And the good thing is, I'm not going to have to use so many blocks as I go down. I'm going to need to use less and less. So that's good. Now I know how Danish scientists felt when they realized a lot of the ice on Greenland was melting. Ah, oh, shit. Lava clearing is not fun, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it. Hopefully. Actually, I think it would, it would just be cool to say I drained a good amount of lava without scaffolding. Because usually when you want to drain a lot of lava, you use scaffolding. I tried using a shit ton of buckets earlier to drain lava, but that's just ineffective. It's a hard not life for us. I've got a good amount of progress on clearing out this area. I'll tell you what we're going to do with it when it's all clear. But for now, we're just going to have to wait until it's not, you know, a pain in the ass to get all the blocks. Wait, hold on. Is this the last of my blackstone? Already? Oh, wait. I, that's right. I left some of it in the uh, overall. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go uh, blackstone mining again soon. Oh, wait, we have tons of blocks in here. Oh, betting you all that's all from, like, episode 2. Oh, this is goaded. I'm out of uh, polished blackstone bricks now. Hmm. Well, I don't feel like mining right now, so we're just gonna continue draining this. We fucking did it! Tori, we'll do something with this giant pit now that we have now later. But we need to, uh, you know, finish building up this floor first. Here's the thing. We don't really have that much, you know, blackstone bricks. We've actually used up most of the stuff we mined at the beginning of the video. I can make more, obviously, but this is literally all we have left. So I'm just gonna place everything we have, and, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna hope we, uh, get somewhere. You know, now I think, but I wonder what my most mined block is. Uh, items times mined. So, my most mined block is stone, with 33,000. Nevrak and dirt are to be expected. Like, literally. Like, when you're playing Minecraft, look at your uh, item statistics. For times mined, there's probably... Your leader is probably going to be Nevrak, Stone, or Dirt. So essentially, I'm going to have to reserve a lot of these like spots in the Tree Museum because I actually don't have all the wood types yet. And I haven't really had that much... I'm, not, I'm probably not going to get any new wood types in this episode, unfortunately, because we're going to be spending most of our time here in the Never. Though if we're lucky, we might get a wandering trader visit, like right when I go back into the overworld for something. And I don't think this farm's had much time to run. Okay, that's actually kind of a lot of iron. So I don't think this iron farm's had much time to 
Okay, where did that skeleton go? I don't think our farms had much time to run, because I've been in Endeavor this whole time. I'm getting some really good vibes out of this build so far. I'm really liking where this is going. We've already got a ton of progress after only like a day of recording. Hopefully I can actually start uploading this series somewhat regularly again. After all, there was like a two month gap between episode uh, three and four. Hi, Editor Revolton here again. So, um, I just remembered about this footage. Essentially what happened was I got some of the dock to build in the uh, Strider Hub. But here's the thing. There was no audio, and for some reason, a quarter of the screen was recorded, not all of it. So now this footage is kind of... terrible. I've decided that the best way to go about it is just describe what happened, as if this were 100 days video. Essentially, we got all the docks in place, we got all the striders. After that, I decided to actually do some exploring. And yeah, we actually found some pretty nice stuff. I even took some nice screenshots, too. Kinda sucks all that footage is now gone to waste, though. Eh, dude. I'm actually pissed. Turns out, the entire thing was fucking enlarged for some reason. I'm trying to look at this now. Okay, yeah. The entire fucking thing is enlarged. And even worse, my mic wasn't fucking recording. Are you actually kidding me, OBS? Like, come on, man. That, that, that actually sucks. Oh, that pisses me off so much, man. <sighs> well, I guess I'm just gonna have to, uh. Guess I'm just gonna be more careful then. Seriously, though, this fucking sucks. Ugh. Hi. So as you can see here, I've placed a little bit of a, you know, orange stained glass there. I want this to be on this wall and also the one behind me. And I also just got replay mod working again, so you know what? We're gonna go with a replay mod time lapse. Yeah. Let's do it. So as you can see what I've got going here is just a big ass window. And it's just giving you a good view of all the lava. Is it necessary? No, not at all. Is it cool? Hell yeah. And when you're building in Minecraft, the most important thing is making it look cool. Anyway, with this main area now being pretty much complete, you may notice that, well, in the center area, in the center areas here, it's kind of empty. And you'd be right. So, that's why I'm going to let you guys suggest something we could put in here as a decoration. Actually, three things maybe. I think that could be pretty cool. Just know it can't be anything that involves blocks that I can't get on super flat. It's like, tough. Or reinforced deep slate. Actually, you can't get reinforced deep slate at all. It also can't be anything that requires end blocks, because I don't have access to the end in this world for some reason. Yeah, it's weird, I know. Let's see, how much... Yeah, it's gonna be a while. So, while we wait, let's go take this Strider out for a ride. We still need name suggestions, by the way. It would appear that to the north there is nothing of interest. So something we could do is actually get a canal going. Okay, so earlier I was doing some traveling on here, but uh... Yeah, uh, only a fourth of my screen was recorded, and my mic was not being recorded for some reason. So yeah. This is one of the things I came across. Just a shit ton of pigmen all in one place. Wait, let's turn on some shaders. Woo. Oh yeah. This, this is cool. Let's try searching this. Hmm. I recognize this. You know what this is? I'll tell you what it is. 
what you're seeing here is frames that I built to actually find a never fortress. I was bridging around, you see. To also, oh yep, there's more. See, it also tells me that I have not ventured out to this area on my Strider yet. Ow. Is this a bastion I found earlier? Judging by what I'm looking at here, I don't think I've been in this one before. I'm just going to screenshot that, and we're going to start heading back. Yeah, you see how from here you can see like very clearly like where to meet, where, to, where the hub is? Well, we're going to be terraforming here later, so that won't be much of a problem, thankfully. Oh, I'd say that was productive. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, that was literally just about the perfect time to uh, get all this smelted. Well, this needs more time. Anyway. So, currently, since we don't have any more overworld wood types, but we do have all the never wood types, what I'm thinking uh, here is that we get those situated down here. So, yeah, let's go do it. So, a little update here. We've now got the never trees in there. I noticed that there wasn't really much room for other overworld wood types over there, but you know what? Whatever. Actually, you know what? I well, let me just do some counting here. Yeah, I could totally include another one right in the middle, actually. So, yeah, we do have room. Anyway, that's every wood type in the game, including the uh, never tree types, all accounted for in this tree museum we're doing. Hey, what the fuck? What the f- A gas spawn in here? Oh no, he destroyed my glass too. Oh motherfucker. Okay, so we've still got a lot of waiting to do because we need to wait for somewhere that's left on air to smelt. So what I'm thinking is, we grab some of the soul sand and soul soil, and we use it to begin terraforming, because that's something we're going to have to do later. Because we're not just going to have this big, like, uh, strider hub just down here out in the open. And with all these, like, never act boxes, oh, I fell in the hole. Then yeah, it needs to look good. So, we're going to need to start on uh, making this look nice. Can I? I would like to. Okay, thank you. I guess we just use the blocks we currently have in our inventory. Just see how much progress we can get on these central enclosures. Yeah, then in the middle there, we're gonna. It's gonna be like in glass on both sides, so. Actually, wait, would it? Yeah, just we're just gonna have the chest on one side, but not on the other. I think. Yeah, we can see how we're gonna do it. Okay, and uh, as of day 341, the Strider Hub is. Pretty much done. I'm looking at it now, and yeah. Literally, the last thing I have to do is just put actually like, fences around like all of the striders. And then, yeah, we're pretty much done. I'm gonna need more uh, crimson wood though, so let's go get that. 
Anyway, we're gonna head back to the overworld because we have a lot of blocks to store. Iron farm, oh iron farm, do you work? Throughout this video, we got 14 ancient debris. Which was like, literally all just from blackstone mining. What? Anyway, tomorrow we're going to begin on another project in the world because, let's be real, I have not done enough for this episode. Because compared to the last video, this is almost nothing. And you know, I've been wanting to do bigger episodes, but um, it's just like, oh no, I, I should probably do this first. Yeah, I'm probably never going to use that thing again. In fact, I hardly go to the Never Hub now, actually. Only went to it, I've only been going to it now because, well, you know, Strider Hub. Anyway, I'll tell you guys what it is in the morning. And next thing we're going to be building is a Wandering Trader Farm. I'm going to be needing this. As you can see, I have a shit ton of stone. And this is, and this all comes into clutch. Because according to my calculations, I need like seven stacks. First of all, using these two buckets. I have to turn off shader scan so I can see what I'm doing. Pretty sure this has to be built over an ocean, but I don't have any oceans in this world because, you know, it's a bit flat. A lot of people flood, I think, or you should think, I think a good amount of people do flood their superflat worlds. I don't, for the record. As you can see, we've already got a lot of water here. That is a lot of water. Okay, I will say, Sis, there is one big flaw about not using Lightmatica, is that for farms, you have to look at tutorials constantly. Just like, oh, am I doing this thing right? Uh, I don't know. Are you? Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but oh well. Anyway, I know this won't be very fun to watch, so I'm just gonna... We're just gonna get replay mod time up going. As you just saw, we just uh, finished building the platform, but the water perimeter I I think is actually too small. So yeah, we just gotta get that water perimeter expanded like heavily because I feel like the water traders aren't really spawning for a few reasons. It might be because I killed like six. Yeah, there's really not much to really say now. Like, literally, this farm's complete. There's nothing else to really do now other than just wait. If I go through now, I don't think there will be any. Yeah, there's nothing. Check it out. All right, sorry, FK. Hi, this is Editor Revolton speaking again. So, uh, when I started AFK, I was hoping that maybe I'd have to AFK for like. Maybe like one or two hours, maybe not that long. No, I didn't think it would last that long. Yeah, it turns out I was AFK from like roughly day 360 to day 422. 
And during that time, I got several traders. But it took so long for me to finally get a new sapling that I was just willing to celebrate like I had never before at that moment. In the meantime, I'm going to show you all the other bad traders I had beforehand. Uh, okay, testing, testing. Okay. So I just saw Wandering Trader go in here. I'm going to hope it has a new wood type. If not, he's going to have to uh, meet my bucket of lava. It's a wood I already ha Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, I just show recording again. Uh, it's day 31, gun number traitor. Moment of truth. Are you kidding me? This stuff's rare, so I'll get it. This stuff too. So, I think I heard something spawn. Oh! Oh, I totally did. That's not what I wanted. That's not why I built this farm. So, uh, if you pay attention to the uh, top left corner of the screen, you'll notice that I have many HUDs set to uh, show what day it is. And currently, it is day 399. It's been pretty much a hundred more days since episode 4 finished filming. And I did it in like a week. Kind of. So, am I done recording episode 5? No. No, I'm not. In fact, we have a lot more to do. And by that, I mean more AFK. So what I've decided to do is just do an overnight AFK session because... Yeah, I'm getting impatient. You know, I've never done with those before, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get hungry or my character will during that time. So what I'm going to do is grab my beacon. I'm going to bring it over to the farm. And what I'm going to do when it's at the farm is set it to uh, regeneration. So that way, I don't have any chance of dying. I'm also going to make sure I don't die even further by uh, boxing myself in. I'm gonna check back on this farm in the morning. So I've been doing a lot of AFKing. I'm just gonna go in here, see if it's all good. <gasps> oh shit. Wait, we got a traitor. Want a truth? <gasps> Wait. Hold on, wait a minute, okay, it's not really what I was looking for, but check it out! We got- we finally got sugarcane! Buying that, rooted dirt. Can I use rooted dirt for anything? Let me check. Okay. So unfortunately, no, you can't get any new trees with rooted dirt. But this will give me access to hanging roots, which would be cool for decorating. So I'll buy it. Okay. Another trader spawned. Moment of truth. <gasps> what? Oh my god, finally. Wait, oh, uh, let me turn my sounds back on. Oh my god, dude, this is actually nuts. Oh my god, thank you, Wandering Trader. Oh my god, I can go home. I can fucking go home. We're here. We finally got more wood! Yep, dark oak. We can now take off another wood type. We're definitely gonna have to use some deep slate and also a lot of glass for this, so... I want this to be a pretty big building. So let's just get to outlining. I'm not sure how big I want it to be. But the trees can get kind of big, so I'm thinking like 11 blocks each. Maybe I should have gotten some walls over here first, actually, now that I think about it. So, yeah, anyway, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, nothing should be off this time. Hey, that was actually convenient. Okay, nice. 
Anyway, this should be a good enough space for all the trees. How big do I need to be, like, going up? Let's just do, like, a random distance and call it a day. Anyway, while I'm building up these frames, I wanted to say that the next uh, Flat World video, or Micro Super Flat video, I should say, will not be on this Flat World. It's going to be on a different world. Don't worry, it'll be a good video, though, because it's actually going to also be expanding on the lore of the uh, universe of my Flat World. Because, yes, my Flat World does have lore. It's not just Europe that's affected in this uh, timeline I've created. It's also every other continent. You've even got a map here for uh, North America. I wonder what uh, this thing here in, uh, in Fredonia means. So as for the design, I think where I currently have all those Nebraska stripes in the floor there, what I think I'm gonna do is get a, a shit ton of like redstone lamps and just place them all down there. So we've got the framework going. I know it's not that fancy, but you no, know I don't really care. So anyway, let's go mine some deep slate. Hi. So I didn't actually start mining any deep slate. I realized I forgot my beacon back at the, uh, you know, at the wandering trader farm. So I went to go get it. And anyway, I've got it here. So we need to set it back up, and then we can start mining. What's going on? I just get down into trenches and dig. Yeah, I definitely didn't have enough redstone. Eh. So wait, it can't just be like normal lit up redstone. Are you serious? Just turn my shaders back on. This is gonna look awesome. I know this looks basic right now, but don't worry, it's gonna look awesome when it's done. Yeah, I need more deep slate, but oh well. I always need more. I never have enough. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with these middle parts, but whatever. I'll figure something out. I won't! This build went from like a couple of Nevrak frames to already looking like a promising build. I want there to be like a lighter stone block here. So I'm thinking we get some smooth stone put along these edges here. But you know, I'm kind of in the zone with the walls and roof right now, so let's just get the... Let's try to get all the glass in place first. Or at least all the glass I have. This now unintentionally become taller than the uh, than the string factory, but whatever. Oh, okay. So, okay. I think if I get a roof over some of these blocks, then yeah, I'm gonna have to get more light sources. So I've got the rest of my raw deep slate. I'm gonna have to get more of this later, but whatever. Time to get a roof on here. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go with some, uh, just some slabs. I think it's gonna be good. Something I'm noticing here is that this, yeah, that in the middle there, there's no light. Like, at all. Like, mobs can spawn there. 
and it's going to be especially bad for when uh, I cannot English for when we have a full roof over this. So what I'm going to do is mine that out, place some glows in there. Now that, that helps light this up, and it gets rid of the problem here. But now it doesn't look symmetrical. So now it does. Anyway, so I just realized that uh, there's no door to this thing, like at all. There we go. We got a door now. I love how it is. I, I you know with some heat there. Rolls just look so pretty in the rain. Okay, roof's done. Okay, I don't think I need to worry about light leveling levels anymore. Anyway, I want some cobblestone here. I'm also going to grab some more water. As we're in the final decorating stage of the, uh, of the dark oak, uh, greenhouse. I'm sorry, we a greenhouse, more like a dark house? And eh, whatever, we'll come up with a better name later. I won't! Anyway, here you are. We're inside. I actually have a lot of cobblestone lying around. So yeah, we're just gonna place it. And the best part is, I'm gonna have to do this for uh, all sides. And by all sides, I mean all six of these. So the last thing that really needs to be done regarding the greenhouse is just bone meal and gold of trees. I didn't even go through a stack. Alrighty. So, now that the uh, Dark Oak building is complete, I think we're officially able to uh, end the video. So everyone, thank you guys so much for watching. As for the next Flat Ward episode is going to drop, I don't know currently. It might actually take a while because episode 6 is when we're going to really start focusing heavily on the city. Before, we weren't really focusing on it. But now, I want us to really get going. So yeah, we're going to be heavily focusing on the city in the next episode. And I think it might even take us to day 1000. I think it's time for us to officially end the video. So, that being said, I'm Voltan from Voltage Productions. Goodbye.